Welcome to Pastor Zillinger's Daily Devotions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we look at the sermon text, uh, and it's from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 11. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received, and on which you have taken your stand. By this gospel you are saved, if you hold firmly to the word I preached to you. Otherwise, you have believed in vain. For what I received, I pass on to you as of first importance. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than five hundred of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom were still living, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me also, as to one abnormally born. For I am the last of the apostles, and do not deserve uh, to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. By the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace to me was not without effect. No, I worked harder than all of them, yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. Whether then it is I or they, this is what we preach, and this is what you believed. This message from Paul, uh, really f- focusing on Easter, this is the Easter message, um, and Paul is notorious for having the Easter message in everything that he does. Uh, to be aware with this is that Paul says there is an importance of what you are to preach, of first importance. And this is what we preach, this is what the apostles preach, this is the effect of saving people. This is the word of God in its bare form of Jesus Christ died for our sins and he rose, uh, he is in the resurrection that our sins are atoned for and we are forgiven today. That's the core message of Christianity. Uh, so oftentimes in today's world, there are preachers or people who claim to be Christians even that, that do not preach this. Now, they might say they believe in Jesus Christ, but what they're really saying is, I'm going to put on a another um, cover up of what the gospel is. I'm going to do my own thing because I want to get more people. I want to encourage people. I want to motivate people. Interestingly enough, uh, one of the biggest motivators of people that they like is the law that they can accomplish. And that is something that justification by grace through faith is the opposite of. We can't accomplish our justification. Only Christ can. Only his death, only his resurrection. This is the core. This is what we preach. And so I want you to have ears on when you go to uh, another Lutheran church, listen to them. What is the core is the message Jesus Christ and his death and resurrection for us, empowering us, changing us, saving us? Or is it Jesus is in the past and now it's about me? Now it's about what I do. If you go to a guest church, a non denomination or another denomination, listen, what are they preaching? Are they preaching Christ? Are they preaching what the apostles preached? Are they preaching what the church preaches? Or are they going off page because they want to motivate people more by the law or by other things of this world? Uh, Stick close to Christ. Stick close to his death and his resurrection because that is where salvation is found. The Lord bless your day as well as your week.